This is Lee Payne from Clovenhoof, and you're watching CMS TV. Classic Metal Show right here on the ClassicMetalShow.com. And we are doing a special edition of the Classic Metal Show because our special, most special house band of the Classic Metal Show is out on the road. They are out on tour. They, um, I believe they start their tour tonight, but we will find out if it's tonight or tomorrow. And here to talk all about it is our favorite accountant, Sammy Lee. Sammy, how are you, man? <laughs> Chris, is always great to talk to you, man. How you been? I'm good, man. It sounds like I'm more rested with than you, which is very, very yeah. unusual that I'm more rested than anybody. But um, I understand you've been driving all night, huh? Well, not all night, but we left uh, Richmond um, about, gosh, 2 o'clock yesterday. Made okay. it to uh, New Rochelle, New York. Uh, stopped, had a drink or two, took a little nap on the pillow, and then we're finally in New Hampshire now and uh, gearing up for tonight's first show of the tour with nazareth very cool now man obviously going out with with a band like nazareth man that's a that's certainly a big deal they're obviously legendary band i mean for you guys was it was it the opportunity to go with nazareth or was it hey this is an opportunity to get out there and show off red rain well i think it's a little bit of both to be honest with you okay. uh as you know you've been in it long enough you get a call from your booking agent and says, Hey, we have an opportunity. Uh, we think it's a good one. You know, uh, are you interested? And first of all, you know, we're not a full-time working band, so we have to make sure that we can get off time to go do this. And we were able to do that. Uh, even though I think at Nazareth is, is on a, like a 10 show tour. We're on the first five shows. Okay. That's the leg we're on. So, and it starts tonight and, uh, in New Hampshire. Right on, man. So, so for, I would imagine for a lot of people that are going to be out there tonight, this is going to be their first time even experiencing Red Rain. What kind of pressure does that put on you guys to, you know, win over new fans and, you know, get people to pay attention to you instead of sitting in the sitting in the back drinking and not coming into the into the gate? Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't think there's really any pressure at all. And I'll it, this is going to sound funny, but you know, if they don't know us by now and they don't like us, then they'll never remember us in the first place. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I think it's a win for us, but you know, you know, without, without sounding too conceited or anything else, we've been very fortunate where we play that we've been able to, um, you know, spark something in people who come to see the band. And so we hope we, you know, that's, that's the goal for the night. Listen, if you can get five to 10 people that really love the band, that's a win, but we hope to get everybody. Obviously we're going to, go out there and do what we normally do entertain right on man well dude obviously you know a few months ago you guys released music with um through deco and um released a few videos which uh you know seemed to catch a little fire with with some of the fans as well talk a little bit about how it's been going since since the songs came out and since um you know deco stepped in Sure. It's been great. Uh, you know, Deco has been very good to partner with. They've uh, been very responsive to the needs that we have asked for or requested. Um, and so moving forward with that, 
it, it, that's been a good partnership up to this point. We, we hope it continues, obviously. Uh, secondly, the album's been received very well, getting a lot of uh, feedback. It, it seems that it sparks something um, with everybody. I mean, as you know, I've, I've spoken to you and, and Neely that, you know, the album was basically written over a COVID, you know, the COVID mm -hmm. era. So that, you know, everybody's experiencing some of these songs that, you know, Bubba was able to, you know, again, uh, you know, experiencing life at that time. So it's been it's been really good. It's uh, it's been a great run so far. Sure. We, we, we hope to continue it. Right on. I know you guys haven't had a lot of opportunity to play these songs live, but like you said, they're in you guys' head, not in our head, but in you guys' head, right. they're old songs already. Does it right. feel does it feel fresh to be bringing them right now, or does it feel old hat because you guys wrote them a while ago? So this is new, and the only reason I say that is this will only be the second show we've played new material. Okay. Well. Um you know, because really the last show we played, it's been a little bit over a year and we it, we played one or two songs off the off the uh, album before we actually went in to record the album. So um, so this is really the first chance we're going to be playing. Uh, Ninety percent of the set will be new material. Right on. And how does it feel for you guys to play it? Do you feel comfortable with it yet or do you go into it with the oh, I hope I don't fuck this up <laughs> attitude toward it? <laughs> Well, I think you always go into a show thinking that, you know, you don't want to mess it up. But no, we're very confident. Um, you know, we practice. Uh, I mean, gosh, we've been, you know, we've been practicing once to two times a week. This material, uh, we have a, we have a master set list that we go over and we, we go through all of our songs every week. And so when it comes time for a show like tonight and we have to, you know, you know, whittle it down to whittle it down, excuse me, whittle it down to a 30 minute set, as opposed to we have about an hour and a half. Right. Uh, and, well, I mean, we've been playing these songs for over two years. Right on. But you, you also hope you don't, you also hope you don't mess up. So, right. I hear you. Do, is it, is it, is it comfortable taking it down to to 30 minutes? And what I mean by that specifically is I know just changing it up and putting the songs in is easy enough. But when you have an hour and a half, you can kind of get loose. You can kind of interact with the crowd a little bit, whatever. You go into a 30-minute hit like these shows are, it's really got to get in, got to get as much music out there to the people as you can or else Absolutely. you're wasting your time, you know. Bubba doing two minutes of interacting, or, or Stevie, rather, doing two minutes of interacting with the crowd, well, that could be the difference by of you guys playing a whole nother song that could win True. the crowd. You know, do you like doing that, or is it just kind of the nature of the beast? I, I don't think you're comfortable with that or like doing that. Uh, however, um, you don't have a choice. That's number one. But number two is you're right. It, it doesn't give you a chance to really interact with the crowd, which you lose that. But the, 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 the good news is you're able to play as much material as you can, which hopefully there again, something sparks that they'll go out to the merchandise table at the end of the show. And that, and, and again, uh, you've seen us we'll, after at the end of the show, we'll be at the merch table. So, uh, if we don't interact as much on stage, we will interact more at the merch table, merchandise table. So yeah, it, it's a tough gig, but you know what? The, the good thing too is, you know, the guys are fired up. I'm fired up. And when that first note hits, you know, it's like, a, it's like a jet taking off, you know, right on. And, and you got a job to do and, and you know, and, and the worst part is for 30 minutes though, is you don't want to speed the setup. That's where it gets a little crazy. So right. That's where, that's where you have to, that's where you have to kind of, watch your p's and q's but now we're, we're, we're fired up we're ready um yeah it's crazy right on and the, and the funny part is the speeding the setup that's all on you because if you because you're the one that'll guide true, it though. come on but that's not but that's not always true because i only start i start uh i only start like three or four of the songs so like out of a seven song set you know bubba starts them and I'll tell you, man, Bubba, Bubba's a jet. I mean, he likes to come out of the gate fast. So it's like it'll start real fast, and then I kind of bring it. I try to right. bring it down a little bit. So, <laughs> but uh, that's that's our motto. It's like, hey, man, just you know, relax and free tonight. So right that's on. What, that's what we're gonna try to go with. So tell people where you're gonna be at, man, because there's you know there's five, what five gigs, um, kind five of shows, yep, midwesternish um, sort of run, right? Yep, and I'm going to pull this up so I don't mess up. No, it's fine. Up. That's, That's uh, all good. Yeah. You would think I know by now. but uh, So tonight we're at the Tupelo Music Hall in okay. New Hampshire. 
Uh, that's where we start tonight. And then we're off tomorrow as we make our way down to Wilmington, Delaware. So we're at the Queen. Uh, I want to make sure I got that right to the Queen Theater in Wilmington, Delaware, Saturday night. Okay. And then, because um, I know you love hearing this part, we're going to wa- drive Warrior home back to Richmond for Sunday. <laughs> and then we're going to leave Monday <laughs> for Warren, Ohio. Right. And Robin's that is Theater. That's the Robin's Theater. Yeah. Right. And then. And then we're off Tuesday to go to um, Nashville, Indiana at the, uh, I get this one messed up. I'm sorry. The Browns, Browns Hall. Yep. Okay. Browns Hall. And then Thursday night we end with your friend and your co-host, Neely, yeah. at the Arcata um, on Thursday night, which is in Illinois. And um, I've been schooled by Neely a thousand times. It's not Arcadia. It's Arcata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the Arcata Theater. But I know. Well, it's a, it's a great many run. Times. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, it's a great yeah, run, a dude. Run. Now, d- compare it, and maybe you can't until after you do it, but going into it, how does it compare to like when you guys went out with Tesla? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know if I can answer that now until we actually get to the venue and, and you know, meet the guys. I'm sure they're great, and I'm sure it's going to be fantastic, but um, it feels the same. I mean, okay. um, this driving. Uh, I will say the last time we played with Tesla and the Grand Rapids, Michigan show and had to drive back to Richmond about broke my broke my will to ever drive a car again. <laughs> and so I will say the comparisons there, because driving from Richmond to New Hampshire has broken my will to drive again. <laughs> so um, after this, though, leg, everything else is more in a five to six hour range. This was a, a ten and a half hour range. So that makes it tough. Right on, man. Well, dude, and then um, once we play the Arcata, once we play the Arcata and. Oh, that's a nice play. drive. And, well, that's 12 and a half hours from what I'm told. So uh, we, the guys, the guys already know it's nine o'clock. Cause at once Nazareth hits a stage, we have to be done with everything we're doing. Okay. So I think the Arcata we're off at nine. We're going to be in our van at nine ten, and we're going to be on the road at nine fifteen, and we're going to drive till somebody says I'm too goddamn tired to drive. Oh God! <laughs> I know you love these stories because you always make fun of us being the road warriors. So, <laughs> and you'll be crashed in a ditch at four a.m. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll hear a tow truck come getting us at like five a.m. Oh, I don't know how you guys do it, man. I, look, I'm doing the show with um, Johnny G O L E on um, in in a few weeks. We're uh, over in Pin, yeah. uh, Pinball, PA, and that show's going to end at like seven, eight o'clock at night. And all I have to drive mm-hmm. is two hours home. And I'm really thinking, well, maybe I just get a hotel room and stay one extra for two hours. You know, you guys yeah. are talking 12. Huh? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably go. We'll probably go five, six hours. You know, if we get to nine, we'll stop at two, which is not that bad. And, you know, get about six hours sleep and then we'll drive six, yeah. seven. Home. It's not that bad. Dude, you say that's not that bad. This is after running a marathon on a stage for 30 minutes. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, let's just get in the car, sit down and and sit no i'd be falling but dead asleep know, well but see that's the funny thing you say that but the funny thing is is you know once you get on stage and especially you know again i i hope we're well received but once you're well received i'm jacked up for four hours i can't sleep anyway if i wanted to right. so um now if i was in near home what i would do is get off stage drive an hour home and then i'd pour two or three bourbons and then go to bed but <laughs> I'm not going to do that while I'm on the road, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, you just do it, you know, it's just, you mm-hmm. just plow through it. We're used right to on. it at this point. Absolutely, dude. Well, dude, you got to come more. join us on one of these. You'll love, you'll love these long. Trips. I'll never join you on one of these. I'm going to tell <laughs> you that now. <laughs> <laughs> dude if you haven't learned from listening to cms it's impossible to get me to come out it's it's really difficult well, no, i know that that's why i offered it I yeah of course because there's no chance <laughs> very nice dude well yeah, dude obviously so. man um this is a great run for you guys um you'll be out there for the next week if you are in one of these cities make sure that you come out to the shows don't be don't be as lame as I am. How about that? Just go out and see a show. Here are the dates. I'll put them on the screen real quick. I know it's a little small, but um, you can see it's Tupelo uh, tonight. So if you are seeing this right now, put down your your work and get out there over there in Connecticut. Um, tomorrow night at the Wilmington at the Queen Theater, Robbins Theater on Monday, 
Brown Theater on Wednesday and the Arcata in St. Charles, Illinois on Thursday. So it is Red Rain opening for Nazareth. It's going to be fantastic. And, um, dude, what am I missing that you want people to know? Uh, just uh, come see the show. If not, come check us out. Always at redrainband.com. Uh, we're all over the down uh, downloadable sites. So, you know, if you can't come see the show or also check, uh, you know, me, me, uh, social media, we're going to try to put some videos up if we can. And uh, I know I'm going to see you right at the Warren Center. Is that I, I am coming. <laughs> okay. I, unlike what you were told, I am I am absolutely <laughs> planning on coming. And, um, you know, I just yeah, had to awesome. I had to make to that. sure that Kelly wanted to go, too. And she does. So we're going. So it's that simple. So I'll see you and Kelly Monday night. And then I'm going to be sailing Neely uh, Thursday night. So it's going to be a classic metal Red Rain reunion. We're, Jesus, we're very that's excited. that's more classic metal than even I would want to deal with. <laughs> Well, you know, you might get some more good stories out of Bubba. So, you know, that is true. <laughs> Very he's standing, true. He's standing right here by, over here. So that's why I said that. So. He's hiding. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to do after that last story. So. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> well, it's going to be a great time. You guys, anybody that's watching that is in any of these uh, cities, uh, you should definitely come out and see the show. It's Red Rain with Nazareth. And um, Sammy, as always, man, it's great chatting with you here on the Classic Metal Show. Love you guys. Thanks, man. The biggest and the best heavy metal radio station is CMS Network Now. With over 5,000 heavy metal songs from all the subgenres and eras of metal, it ranges far more than almost any station broadcasting today. You can also listen to great radio shows like Charlie Kendall's Metal Shop, the shows of the CMS Network, and even the full episodes of the Classic Metal Show with the music. Visit CMS Network now at www.cmsradio.net or on the CMS Network app in both the iOS or Android stores. There's no need to listen anywhere else for the best heavy metal ever created.